Somalia's Minister of Information Osman Abakar Dubey has for the first time detailed the situation of Somali youths who have been trained in Eritrea, following a report that they were involved in the Ethiopian war. Minister Dubey ruled out the possibility of Somali troops taking part in the fighting in Tigray and confirmed that the soldiers, who had been trained in Eritrea, would return home soon. The troops are healthy. They are coming and they are coming for us. When they do come, I think some would then say why they came back, he said. Minister Dubey also pointed out that their training was coming to an end, and warned against politicizing military training, which he described as a national secret. The minister further said that there is a special interest in this issue and that some forces want to divert the people from the genocide in Gedo region. Training troops is a confidential national matter and politicians in the world do not talk about the training of their army. This is a diversion from the genocide our enemy is doing in the Gedo region, said Minister of Information Dubey. He also spoke about the upcoming report by the UN Human Rights Council on the involvement of Eritrean troops in the Tigray conflict, noting that Somali forces were among those fighting in the region. He said the UN report that Somali soldiers had been taken from training camps in Eritrea and deployed to war zones in Tigray was false, according to the statement. A United Nations report was taken from politicians' Facebook accounts and no evidence was heard or given, he said, adding that the federal government had denied the allegations. Dubey accused opposition politicians of politicizing the issue of young people being trained in Eritrea, amid growing public outcry and efforts to find them. In the last few hours, opposition politicians have criticized the federal government for failing to respond to the deployment of troops to Eritrea, which the United Nations says was involved in the fighting in Tigray. Somali parents whose children are missing also staged a protest in Mogadishu today, demanding the return of their children.